All right, good morning and welcome back. Uh, Five months after devastating tornadoes ripped through our state, people are still trying to recover. The events of that day have changed the lives of so many people. It also changed the way we do our jobs as meteorologists, and I'm sitting here with two very special people, Reed Timmer and Tim Samaras. You guys are both storm chasers, and you study these storms all of the time and follow them, and you guys were actually down here that day, April 27th, chasing, and tell me how that day changed you guys. Well, I've never seen anything like that in you know, 14 years of storm chasing and probably, what, 25, 30 years? Oh, yeah. I've been out chasing for 25 years. I've never seen so much devastation in my life. It certainly has changed me and how I'm able to go out and, and look at these storms now from now on. And every single storm, it, w it would go up and in a matter of minutes would have a really violent tornado on the ground. Yeah. And you wake up in the morning and you see all the parameters and you realize that there's probably going to be 150 or more tornadoes and people are going to lose their lives, but there's nothing you can do about it except chase them and call in those reports and do the best you can to help out in the warning process. And tell me like the track of where you guys went that day and what you did see. Well, we actually started off uh, in, uh, in, Louis in uh, Mississippi and mm -hmm. then we just basically continued to drop south because as Reed said, every single storm produced tornadoes. Mm -hmm. So we would chase the storm. The problem is we couldn't keep up with them. Oh, These yeah. tornadoes were moving 50 to 60 miles an hour. So we would chase it and then drop down to the next storm. It was almost a guarantee, as Reed said, every single storm was producing a tornado. And we saw the EF5 in Mississippi near Philadelphia and then chased the Tuscaloosa storm when it first touched down and we were blocked by trees just on the west side of town. Then we dropped down to the uh, Centerville. I believe so, yeah. yeah. That, 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 I mean, there are so many tornadoes. I think we saw probably five or six different strong tornadoes on different storms. I know that when we were working here in the studio, we basically got to the point where we said, every one of these storms, these supercells, yes. have a tornado on the ground. Just get to your safe place. Right. And I know it was, it was scary because, you know, we, it, you and you as well, as long as myself, we watch them and we know, as you just said, it gets to a point where you can only just say, get to your safe place. And even sometimes when you're in that safe place, you know, it's not going to be enough with how large these tornadoes are. And so we're still rebuilding five months later. It's going to be five months and five months more before all of this gets back. But you guys are here to help. And w what made you come down here today? Well, we're here with Discovery Channel, and uh, all their employees are down as well. We're rebuilding homes in uh, Pleasant Grove, and when we chased, you know, in, in April 27th, uh, we knew we wanted to come back and play some role in the recovery effort, and this is the least that we can do. So yeah. you're going to be with Governor Bentley as well, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, we're actually rebuilding for Habitat for Humanity. And yeah, this, to me, helps bring a little bit of closure to what we've actually seen, mm -hmm. you know, several months ago, because it, just, it was just a unbelievable experience for both of us. And when you guys go out there today, are you working on one specific home or explain what you guys are going to do if you're going to help several different places? I believe we have and we're helping it with one specific home. Uh, we may, you know, shift over to help with a few others, but it's a little unclear right now. But yeah, we're just here to help for several days. And so what is, you know, coming and being able to come back and give back, explain how that makes you feel. It feels really good. I mean, on the, on the front side when we're chasing the storms and calling in the reports is one thing, and then uh, being you know, early on in the damage and helping out the best we can in the early recovery effort, I think it's, it's really important to come back again and uh, keep bringing exposure to the recovery and also help directly uh, by, by building homes and getting out of the vehicles and getting some fresh air. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> walking around a little bit. It's great. Some exercise. Absolutely. All right, we have a full screen, actually, that we're going to put up here really quick that says the information that's going on today with having Habitat for Humanity and the Discovery Channel helping out. Governor Bentley will also be attending there. Storm Chasers now getting out of the vehicle, as you said, and helping to rebuild after that just crazy devastating day that we had back April 27th. But the reason that you guys do what you do is because it's not just one day. It happens all the time, all, all year, and you guys actually have the, on Discovery Channel starting Sunday, correct, where your new season starts to air. Yeah, that's uh, the first episode, and it's actually the April 27th oh, uh, excellent. outbreak. And um, yeah, we do it year round. Uh, we mm -hmm. chase hurricanes. Tim was out uh, documenting lightning out in the monsoon season, and so we pretty much chase, chase year round. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we go out and we're interested in all types of weather phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, Reed and I are personally interested, and we want to know why these thunderstorms are creating tornadoes. 
and what they do and you just get right in there and that's why you should tune in this Sunday to start off this season the first episode that actually is about April 27th but I want to thank you guys so much not only for coming to Central Alabama because I know when there's all kinds of things that happen different weather events you know we have not been forgotten down here and it's just nice to have you guys down here and thank you for stopping in the oh. studio it's nice to meet Reed Timmer Tim Samaras thanks for joining us and thanks for having me